This forest fell here with an update on what's going on. We got the aquaponic system, the pond, or the 10,000 gallon pond, the in ground 20,000 gallon pond, the 1100 gallon saltwater tank, and yeah, the new house. So here we go. Watch that step. Mm -hmm. Alright, 20,000 gallon pond, marked with the green, goes all the way to the fountain, all the way to that fucking uh, gas power or gas line setup, all the way out to the trees on this side, all the way back around. We're probably going to end up extending it back to this area right here, but uh, most of the pond will be around 8 to 10 feet deep. Some areas with shallow water, maybe four or five feet deep, and then a river circulating through it. It's nothing important right now. It's not dug. You can't really see what's going on. It's just marked. We're waiting to get the rest of the flags marked off so we can see where the pipes and everything is so that we can dig around it. Let's get to the good stuff. All right, the first backyard that you're about to see. Obviously, it's under construction. We just bought the house. We just moved in, so uh, everything's situated. First backyard uh, holds the aquaponics system, 10,000 gallon pond, slash pool, and an 1,100 gallon saltwater tank, slash pool. Driveway under construction, it seems to be. Quick look at the first backyard, we'll come back to this one. That up is real messy. We got tanks for sale also. <laughs> Just got finished mowing it. This is where the magic starts. This fence is going to be transferred over to that side all the way down. We'll finish fencing it in and we'll have a solid backyard grass throughout we're thinking somewhere around the center once that's pushed over there do the pool grotto nice covered balcony or covered up like a gazebo type area brick in the barbecue pig close off the trash can storage area Sorry about the mess, we haven't straightened it up yet or organized anything, but here's where the magic happens. We have fish tanks all over the place, ready for you whenever you're ready, come pick them up. Here's the 1100 gallon saltwater tank. Uh, it's got biofiltration, here's the filter system. DIY with the brute trash can. Inside of it has live rock. The center has a skimmer style setup. It's a single tube, four feet, filled with uh, bio material. It vents in multiple stages, multiple levels, swirls inside. Has an overflow setup to, to provide suction, singular with one inch. Then we have the two inch dual overflow setup to provide top suction or overflow protection. All ran off of the normal skimmer setup from the actual pool itself. Uh, we do have livestock in here right now. We're going through a diatom bloom, but as you can see, we have our chato over there. The lionfish is swimming by right now. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's a good 13 inches. Uh, there's also a grouper in here, nine inches, an eel, 22 inches various damsels the DIY uh, purple live rock there's one piece right there obviously it works it's been throughout my tanks and now it's in the pond there's more down there but obviously with the diatom bloom it's all brown you can't really tell the covering right there is ghetto I know but 
it's functional for right now. The temperature in this tank, the first time we set it up, got up to 92 degrees. I don't want to cook my fish, I want to keep them. So we covered 75% of the tank via half of it covered here, partial sunlight cover from the actual pool itself, and you also get the little shady spots from depending on where the sun's at. So it keeps the temperature down at a solid 79 to 80 degrees, no higher, no less. Extra PVC, I'm not finished putting the component set up. All right. Here's the solid stage for my aquaponic setup. There's one of the grow beds right there. I haven't finished completing anything. I mean, we obviously we just got started. The pump's on the opposite side. We have about, I'd say 200, 250 mollies in here, which is our, uh, obviously they're freshwater right now. We transfer them over to salt water so we can feed them to our saltwater fish, but we're also going through a green water episode right here. We just added the additives to kill it. That's why this water's crystal clear right here in these tanks, and it's not quite there on here, but it's getting there. We went from solid green water to slightly clear. You can see uh, the center plumbing inside. We got buckets in there for hide spots. There's a lot of fish in here. No less than 250 in here. That's a guarantee, no less than 250. But the aquaponic setup consists of this 10,000 gallon pool, we're gonna grow our uh, run our grow beds on that back wall, this receding wall up against the house, and then in various spots around the entire yard. They'll probably end up going lengthwise with the fence. And uh, the idea is to do deep water culture beds so that we can run a sump down at the end and not have to worry about are we getting the water back up here? Is there enough nutrients? all the different situations from doing an aquaponic system. But uh, if you guys can think of anything we need, should do, ideas on how to improve, add on, get everything going better, definitely send me a comment. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and throw that in the questions, comments, and concerns box. Sportsville back at you.